What is going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we're going to be playing on a new zombies map that has just been released called Omega. This has tons of Modern Warfare remastered weapons and apparently it's a bit of a maze. That is all I really know about this map. So without further ado, we're going to get this video started. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, it would be hugely appreciated if you could help me on the road to a million subscribers. Um, so definitely hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you want to hit the like button, we're going to set a goal of 323 likes on this video. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. Welcome everybody to Omega. Let's see what this map is all about then. So, first thing I'm seeing here is a shield part. Uh, the PPSA... PPSH is 5,000 points. The Peacekeeper is 5,000 points. We've got power there. Zombies are very fast paced from the beginning. Always do like to see this in a map. Power lag is over and... I'm noticing some very cool perks early on here. This is going to be really fun today. Right, we got the Ray Gun. That is 10,000. Bible ending there for 100,000. Okay, these weapons are a little bit more in my price range right here. Okay, this looks pretty mad. This really does look pretty mad early on. Right, I'm already getting nearly cornered into the back right. Now the maddest gotcha in the world early on tonight. Woo, okay. Right, I need to go get a better gun. I need to get quicker vibe as well, clearly. Oh my goodness. Alright, as always, there will be download links in the description for this map if anybody does wish to play it. This one started off pretty crazily. Right, let's see what we got then. So, should we just go for something that we know was like a foul? Let's go for the mini easy. Honestly, this cheapest one. I'm not even sure what the prices on these ones were. They probably might have been better. Something like an AK. Probably would have been better, but it is what it is. I can't get quick revive yet. There is no points from... Crouching before the perks. Alright, we got the quick revive. Right, let's go on a bit of a scouting mission then. We're going to try to find Jogganog here. I'm trying to see what I can even find. Right, Jogganog, there we go. So there's Jogganog, double tap. Those are going to be the first two that I go for um, after this. I think that's speed cutter. There's speed cutter as well. Gobble gums, we won't be using those even though there is a gobble gum machine. I'm not really about the gobble gums. This is an interesting round one. So there is actually not, it's not like never ending rounds. I do like that. A lot of these maps nowadays, they're just never-ending rounds. I thought it was going to be like that, to be honest. But it is nice to know that you can go through the storm and you will get a moment to recover at the end of the rounds. 16 kills there. 16 zombies on round one. That's pretty pretty insane for an early game. Uh, you know, that's really insane, actually. There is another shield part. Right, I think the good thing about this, it doesn't look like there's many debris, if any. So it looks like we can just run around the entire map early on here. Getting like a bit of a, I don't know. It's almost giving me like a slight octagonal vibe, this map. Those that know octagonal ascension, those style maps, will know kind of what I'm talking about. Obviously, it doesn't have like many different levels, but it's giving me a slight vibe of that kind of feel. Right. I think Jogganog is about to be ready here. Potentially Jogganog this round, potentially. Nah, not quite, but we're going to be virtually there. All right, so we'll grab Jogganog here. We'll look to just get everything. I don't know if there's a perk limit on here either, but I really hope there isn't. We do have the mystery box. Mystery box is normal price. That's definitely the way to go about weapons. I may I may end up going with one weapon from like the wall, just because I know it will be useful, but I think for the most part, I will hit the box up. Wait a second, these perk icons, they look really, like, different. They look unsaturated, I think is the way to put it. Is that almost like BO1? I feel like that's BO1 perk style right there. Like, the levels, like, the saturation levels are a lot, a lot more tame. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm thinking maybe speed curler instead of double tap as my, uh second or oh, sorry my third perk here in this game i think that's a smart choice right now let's just wait till the end of this round and we'll grab it got a death machine waiting as well all right nice the speaker this will definitely tell me if the the perks have changed 
Okay, that looks like the same. I don't know. I, maybe I'm just going mad. I really don't know. Oh, damn. We got the M268 Obliterator here for, as a death machine. Oh, very nice. This is obviously the Vulcan. I do really like this weapon. So wait, if you're in one of these like areas, does that just mean they only spawn in this specific spot or that could actually be a really OP strategy to like get points in and do things quick. Maybe that's not the best time considering I just ran out of ammo, but we'll grab a bit more ammo for the mini Uzi. I'm going to go for double tap, then we'll go for some boxes, I think. Starting wilder right here. I got to beat this flawlessly today. I know it's got a big Bible ending. I know we had an insanely close moment to taking an L. Uh, in the first round on here today, but I feel like I've been telling you guys in recent videos and streams that It's 2020. We're playing zombies. Everything has got to be beat to the best possible standard nowadays, so I do not plan for it to be any different today And these are some long rounds, you know 109 kills on round four. What in the world? That's an insane amount that really is. And that, wait, the nuke didn't even end round four. Okay, this is ridiculous. Right, let's go ahead and just grab more ammo for, in fact, should we just go for the box straight away now? I've been holding on to the M1911. I'm not really sure why, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it. That is probably one of the worst weapons we could have got in place of it. That really is. I hate the Pharaoh. And the KN44, I'm not really too much of a fan of this either, but I guess for the moment we've got to deal with it. That is, uh, yeah, that's not a great start in terms of box hits today. I've been having a really, really good streak on the box hits um, throughout the last sort of, I would say, two, three weeks worth of videos and live streams. But maybe the, maybe the luck is about to turn today. Or maybe we'll hit the next box and we'll get the dream. Who knows? But that definitely would not be my, uh, my dream start with the box. Right, yeah. One thing I would really like in this game would be double points. Uh, if we're going to be having to buy all... Wow. Okay. 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 That's ridiculous. Like, that is actually ridiculous. You know what? I think this could be a smart purchase. The rounds are so, like, slow to go through, so get that. We can just get points for days. I think we could probably hold the zombies at this stage of the game, too. I'm down, dude. I'll reload that one up very, very quickly. Double Another double points. Okay, suddenly the luck is getting insane. I've spoke, I've spoke about luck potentially changing, and the zombie gods have, have heard. They are not letting it happen today. There is something about it. I don't understand. Like, every time whenever I say I need a double points or I need a max ammo, whether it be a video or a live stream, we always seem to just get them. I, I don't understand. That has just boosted my points up so much, though. These rounds are insane. I'm nearly at 200 kills, and we're only just hitting round six. This is ridiculous. Right, let's, um... I mean, I'm gonna have to get every perk. There's no way we're not gonna do this, so... Let's just, uh, let's just start getting going, I guess, with all of these. Right, I'm gonna just grab them. The, the perk, the perk icons are definitely a bit different today. They definitely are. Let's grab this one. I am not sure the price of that. That's, okay, that one is very expensive. Stamina up would be nice. So it looks like there is no perk limit on here as well. All right, there's stamina up. Suddenly, look at this. We're just flying into these rounds, flying into all of these perks. Uh, things are starting to look good. I do think uh, box hits are going to be needed soon. Did we also get all shield parts? Or No, I think we got two. All right, we do need to figure out a shield part. I would, if it was me, I would maybe put one somewhere down like here. Let's have a look. All right, doesn't look like anything is down here. Oh, I missed the death machine, I think. All right, we'll have a little look around. It could be down here as well.
Definitely keep you on your toes, the speed of this map, I will say that. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go build that shield, that'll be nice. And these rounds are insane. Another double points, yes please. Bowie knife, super OP. I said it would be good early because of the fact that these rounds were staying really low. You can honestly nearly hold them in the spawn at this stage of the game, which is just insane. Considering there's that many zombies around, there's so many points to be had. That's actually awesome. I think that might be round. That is... Right. I do kind of like the idea of this AK-47 today. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I'm also going to just take everything today. So let's just go and grab all of these different perks on this map. We have got so many. It does have dog rounds as well. We're also going to go ahead and grab shield. I think we've set this up very nicely early on here. And there is a zombie shield. Alright, well that was a nice easy round. I don't know if I'm actually happy that it's getting further into the rounds or not. I mean, I guess for the fact that we're going to have more perks, it's probably not too bad. But at the same time... These rounds are starting to very much increase. I see the deagle. I've just got hit on the shield as well. I really want to get the deagle now. The deagle has taken a... I've taken a fancy to that today. Deagle, go! That VMP. Alright, we'll stick with the ICR for a bit. The ICR is pretty solid. This with the AK. Uh, until we get points. I might even... Yeah, I'll grab a load of points with these. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and grab probably a Pack-A-Punch for the AK. I think we're going to stick with the AK for this game. I just fancy using it. Uh, and then once- oh wow, another death machine. Another death machine. Uh, yeah, and then once we uh, have packed, packed a bunch of the AK-47, we'll look to probably try and acquire uh, the Deagle or something else. We also will have Mule Kick. We need to remember that too, so three weapons uh, will be happening today. My perks are so- like they, we have so many perks this early into the game. And we're about to have tons more as well. Right, maybe I should actually let them spawn so we can get power-ups. Alright, I'm gonna let them be free. I'm gonna let them be free. Let's just go ahead and grab that one. We're just adding to our arsenal now. We're building up more and more. We've also got, oh yeah, uh, that'll be really nice as well. Damn, this combination's gonna be stupidly OP. Like, I don't think we're gonna be get, we're not gonna be getting touched today. Honestly, these zombies are gonna be getting obliterated, especially once we pack a punch as well. Like, I don't even know what that is. Windrunner Whiskey. I feel like I saw that on a map recently. I'm not sure if... I don't know if that's like BO4 or any... Uh, like, I don't have a clue. I saw this recently. Let's just grab that. Not sure what it does. But yeah, I mean, the more perks we have, the better. There's so many more to grab as well. Like, it's it's actually insane. We've got Salvage Shake. We've got Bull Ice Blast. What else is there? Uh, Banana Colada. Obviously, the Cryo uh, Slide. So we've got about probably four more until we're at perk limit here. So how many do we currently have? We have two... Uh, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is there any more? Maybe there's more. I'm not entirely sure. Another nuke. Getting a lot of nukes this game. Right, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, well, I can't grab that one yet. That was four, wasn't it? Let's go grab one of these ones. The Bull Ice Blast, maybe. That was... No, that was 4.5. Oh, wow. Everything's too expensive right now. I can't afford any of them. Insta. Yeah. Another double points, just please. Wow, that was about to despawn. We just got that one. Right. That's showtime. Let's go. 
final uh, insta kill round with the Bowie knife as well, even though we do have an insta kill currently. I want to make the most of this. Look at the points you gain, man. It's insane. That is so many points. It's like 500 per knife, pretty much. Oh my goodness. I love it. There's something that's just so addicting about getting points on zombies. There really is. Another death machine. I take it all back. The luck streak really has changed. You know, it, it started off a little bit all over the place. We had that clutch. I guess you could call that slightly luck. It was definitely a close moment. But now, wow, things have uh, they've really started to go into my favor here today. All right, I'm going to grab that one. This one's really good salvage shape. This gives us ammo back, so that's going to be huge. We'll grab that one as well. I love how even with all of those points, we still can only just really acquire a few perks here. We might be able to get the slide soda. Yeah, got that one. And mule kick. So wait, no, there was more. I was saying, I said like three or four more. Uh, there is definitely going to be five. Oh no, and dead shot. So I think the total perks is at 18. 18 total perks on here. I like how they sort of sit, you know, on top of each other. So yeah, it's going to be some mule kick, dead shot, and the, oh, the, I can't even think right now. The, the other one, the 4.5. The one down there. So the 4,000 one, sorry, what am I saying? Yeah, so we're going to have uh, 18 perks. They're going to sit perfectly on top of each other. Right, I think I need to let them start spawning here. It is really, really getting crazy. Really, really getting crazy. Right, let's just go ahead and let's grab ammo for the AK. I, I want to I wanna be safe here. I definitely could see like this getting bad if you ran out of ammo. Oh, yes, there we go. Another death machine. What is the streak? This is actually a ridiculous streak. Another double points as well. Every time I think it's got to stop, it just keeps going. Right. I guess the only bad thing there is that the round ended, but still all is very good. Right. We're going to grab this one. Deadshot's an easy one just to grab. We'll grab that for the fact that it just fills another perk. But the fact we're only on round uh, 11... <laughs> Right now, considering we have this many kills, is is insane. Kind of wish I didn't get ammo now, but I don't even know if I would have had enough to get through the round anyway. Alright, well, there we go. We are one perk away from all perks. I know that I could say it's only round 12, but, you know, in another map, this would have been like the 20s by now. So, we're doing alright. We're getting it started. We're getting the game worked in. Uh, the thing about these types of maps is that once the zombies start to spawn in more and once you acquire all perks, you start to become really dominant. And it it's very hard for the zombies to do any damage to me. So, what I think will happen here is that we'll get all of the perks. We'll end up pack a punch and hit the box a few more times. And then when we start to really grind towards the 100k points, it will be a lot quicker than you would think. We'll probably end up going from 0 to 100,000 points in no more than 10 minutes. Because when things like double points come in, it's going to be just a crazy, crazy speed that we'll uh, be able to go at. That's what I love about these types of maps. It's like you work to set the game up. You go through the, the, tough, the, you know, the tough starts and then once you get it set up, it is amazing. Insta, very nice. All right, let's grab Mule Kick, get the final perk. I'm also going to go straight to the box as well. I think that is actually ended around or close to it. All right, to the box. Let's go. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with any wall guns. I'm going to leave all the wall guns today. 
I think we just got to go for the box. We got to look for some guns that we really want to use. We got to go with them. Deagle, please. I get the Banshee. All right, it's only a mule kit gun, so I'm all right with that. Deagle! I should have not traded it for that, but I have. It's whatever. We're not going down anyway. Who cares? Who cares? It's absolutely fine. Right, that's perfect. You know what? I'm satisfied with the setup. I really am. I think the setup is really, really nice. The ICR is powerful. It's a good backup weapon. The Deagle and the AK will take primary in this game, but the Deagle especially we're going to be using a lot here. I've, I don't know why. I just wanted to use the Deagle today, so I'm very happy that we got this. That was pretty lucky, actually, considering there's probably... 50 to probably a lot more than 50 thinking about it. It's probably like more like a hundred weapons in that box To think that we managed to get that from about six seven spins is pretty good. I Knew it was gonna be an insta kill as well. Just wait till it gets packed All right, let's just go ahead and pack it straight away Jewel wields Bonnie and Clyde here we go here we go we got so much ammo on these. So much ammo. We're going to be just chilling out here. Insta. Not that I even need it at this point. See, this is what's so good about the dual wields. You always just keep ammo on one of them. And then whenever you need to reload, just, just hit that reload and you can still shoot. If you do it right... Provided, of course, you don't run out of ammo. There's no way that you can die. It's just amazing. Right, I mean, I'm, I was looking at, like, box hits, but we don't even need them. We're about to be at round 14 as well. Right, I think I'm just going to keep going like this and just pack. Get everything packed, and then we can just really start working towards the, the win. Another death machine. Just keeps on. It's a gift that keeps on giving this map. It really is. Right, I, I don't want to say it. I was about to say give me a double point. It wasn't going to say give me a max ammo. But I don't want to say it, but it would be nice to have another double point. Let's see if it works. Let's see if we get another one. I'm also going to just go ahead and throw the AK straight into the pack a punch as well. That's nice. Has that actually got a... Oh, it has a rocket launcher as well. We don't actually have any form of PhD though. That's a little bit annoying. That would have been so dope. It's still amazing. It's still going to be a lot of fun to use, but yeah. They're, oh, wow. Okay, this is seriously the luck streak in 2020 is too much. Every time I ask for a perk or I ask... Well, I just said about PhD, but every time I ask for a power-up or I ask for something, luck or anything, it just goes to me. We, aren't, we wanted the deagle. We got the deagle. We need double points. We get a double points. It just keeps on going, this luck streak. And just look how quickly you've been able to build... Those points up right now. Let's just go for those knives again. 500 point knives. I, I love it. It's like 400 points, but honestly, for one single knife, that is absolutely insane. Alright, double points has ran out. Still amazing. Like, we can go ahead and pack the ICR now as well. And we officially are on to saving up the points now to actually beat this map. Oh my god, another one. Call me DJ Khaled. Okay, let's get back into him again. Let's do it. Do this again. Oh no, we don't have an uh, insta kill now, do we? Rip. Alright, that was insane. That was actually insane. I'm gonna just. Go ahead and use Bonnie and Clyde here for the next round. We'll also pack this ICR. But yeah, that is just how quickly you can get going on a map like this. This is what I'm saying. Like, it will it will go very, very quickly. Got a Hellhound round here as well. That's going to take us up to 16. Could we, maybe we could camp up here. 
I don't know if this would work, but this would be a really OP place to, to camp, you know? You could just, like, chill right here and they'd all just run up to you. There's no way they're gonna do anything. Like, we're just gonna be able to obliterate them. I wonder if we could just even stand right here. If you just headshot, as long as they do not spawn back here. I say that, though. The only thing is, because of the, sp the fact they all spawn over here, it maybe makes more sense to just be right here. I'm not sure how the spawns work on here. I haven't really looked at it. It's making me think now. Maybe they generally do just spawn right here. Another death machine. It really is the map that keeps on giving. Yeah, legit. We don't even need to go there. You just go right here. They just spawn right here. This is insane. This is such an OP strategy. Right, the only thing is I do need to let them actually spawn so we can get those things like double points and uh, other different power-ups. Nuke, I'll grab it. Why not? Anything to just take the rounds up on this map. The, the mean, you know, the thing is, like, 700 kills to be on round 16 is just absolutely stupid. Like, I'm pretty sure on other maps we'd be well into the 20s, like, pushing towards the 30s right now on that many kills. It's actually so, like, I don't know why some of these maps are like this. I think it's kind of cool, though, because it is, like, zombies in a sense, especially BO3 is so much different with the rounds compared to like what it was on BO1 and BO2. And I realized that a lot more recently, just kind of going back to BO1 and BO2. Like hitting up a round 50 on BO1, like you are a god, like if you do that. It's really, like on a lot of maps, it's really hard to do. But on BO3, round 50, like nobody really thinks anything of that. It's like if you don't go to round 100, then it's not even considered worthwhile. So I think this is kind of, it definitely has given me like, a vibe almost of like an old school feel to this. It's the same with these perks as well. I feel like these perks, they're almost like BO1 style. But maybe that's just, I don't know. I feel like the jog, like look at the juggernaut and like double tap. It's sl like slightly less saturated. Just makes me think of like BO1. Right, like just as quickly as that, we're a quarter of the way. Pretty much a quarter of the way to the finish line. I don't know how many minutes that's been since we... It's probably been about 2-3 minutes, literally. So, like I said, I reckon about 10 minutes. We haven't even had really any double points uh, for a while either. Can I spawn some more double points in right now? Let's go. Keep this luck charge rolling. Every time we say it, we get it. Surely it has to give at some point, though. Now will be the time we don't get them. Right, we still haven't had any power-ups yet. I'm telling you, the next power-up is a double points. Ah, oh, I was wrong. Hey, it couldn't last forever. Still, a max ammo ain't bad. Like, the thing is right now, if we get a double points, we will get so many points. Like, I'm still getting so many points even without one. We'll be at 50,000 points here in the next minute or two if we just get a double points gonna be round I think there we go we get to 18 18 rounds 820 kills that might be about the most I have ever seen for this low of a round that is absolutely wild to think I don't know how long this game has even been I feel like it's been 20 to 25 minutes though and to have that many kills in that space of time is that is something right Bonnie and Clyde let's now let's go with this I like, the, I like using this this is like, look how OP this is. We can buy ammo on the wall here as well. I'm telling you now, yeah, the next power up is a double points. Mark my words. Does anything want to spawn at all? Come on. All 
All right, I drained all the ammo on that one. We get a death machine, okay. It's not the double points, but it's not bad. Man, imagine doing a round 100 attempt on here. <laughs> you would be there for uh, a few years, I think. We're getting through those rounds, but man, that's nearly like 100 zombies around on round 18. Yeah, I would not like to try that. That's definitely one that I will avoid. Good, good. Uh, I'd love to, if I was streaming this right now, I'd probably ask everybody what they predict uh, the round would be when we beat it. I'm going to predict that it'll be round, I'm going to say 23. I'm counting in the fact that I hope a double points is going to come in now as well. That it? Oh, it's an insta. Man. What is this zombie even doing? Like, he looks ridiculous. I think it's when I knife, you know. I'm not actually sure, like, how that just... Was it sliding? I'm not even sure what that was. Alright, we're nearly halfway. 46,000. I haven't seen that double points for a while. That is what's gonna... Really, really build us those points. There it is. There it is. Right. It's going to be round, I think. It's another round. 53,000. We are over the halfway mark. All right. All right, my ammo is... I would like a max. I would definitely like a max. Be very nice. But yeah, we must be building this in, in minutes, honestly. There's another Hellhound round as well. All right, maybe when I think about Hellhound rounds, maybe it could go slightly... Maybe 24. 24 rounds. 23 or 24 rounds. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stick with my original. I'll say 23. I'll go with my original... Original thoughts. This is perfect though, this gives us a max. Just when we wanted it, we got it. Right, I reckon that's honestly gonna take me probably just with the ammo that we have currently, even without another max. That would take us to at least, I would say, 80,000 points. Even, even if double points and all that stuff doesn't come. But I got a feeling that we're gonna get another double points right now. I reckon it's just, it's just set to happen right here. Look, watch this. We're gonna get another double points right here. Borderline 60,000. I just keep thinking about the fact that this would be so much more of a few more double points. We'd be at like 80,000 now. That's an insta. Okay, it's not a double points. I have said that I do think one is coming in soon. Max, eh? Hey, I'll take it out. I'll take another max. Take another one of them. You cannot go. Cannot go wrong with one of them. We're through to 22. All right. Suddenly my 23 is looking a little bit, a little bit wary right now. I'm not sure about it. 
Maybe it is gonna be 24. Maybe even 25. We're, I don't want to be heading backwards. We just need double points to drop. They are not dropping right now. Alright, borderline 70,000 points. I feel like every time I just look back, we've gained so many more. Like, you just build points like no tomorrow on here. Even without double points, like, dropping in, it's insane. Like, I just want to get double points right now just to see if we can, like, smash out 80,000 in, like, 30 seconds. I feel like you definitely could. We must be over 1,000 kills now as well. 1,100 kills. A nuke. We are three quarters of the way. My ammo is once again running. Starting to. Oh, there it is. I told you. It's come right at the end of the round, though, I'm pretty sure. Still points to be had, though. Let's go. Every time I get the, the dull points is when I run out of ammo on the other guns. It's always the deagles. That is 80,000, though. Look, every time at the end of the round, they come in. We missed so many opportunities, like, for so many points right there, but still, 80,000 in a very, very fast pace of time. We do have that weapon. Oh, my God, I forgot the whole time. So, I just need to leave my guns to do what they do. We've got Salvage Shake. Look, that's going to be gaining ammo all the time, I'm pretty sure, on these weapons. So, we don't actually have to worry about the ammo. Shows you how, like, th this is just what I'm saying, man. I didn't even think about that. We've had that the entire time. Another one of these. Right, come on. One double points this round. There it is. That's going to hopefully get me at this round. I said 23. I want to be right. I want to be right. I don't want to be wrong. We should be able to get this this round now. It's going to be really, really close. Just get me to 90,000 before that double points goes. It's the one thing we need. I think we're going to make it as well. We're making it. We've got it. 90,000. 91. Smashed it up to 92. Made that nearly 93. Alright, now I'm just spraying and praying. Alright, we're at 93,000. See how quickly a double points can just change everything. Man, this strategy has been so OP though. Oh no, that might, that might take me slightly out. Ammo's really rebuilt on these guns as well. Right, I don't think we've got any issues on the ammo side of the, the game. We still need to be somewhat careful, but we should be alright. Another- wow. Wow. Okay. We have gone to 24. Man, it was so close to being a 23 like round completion right there, but hey, I did say 23 or 24. It could have been our- we got a lot of nukes today. Like, without all them nukes, it would have happened. 1-3-23 kills currently. I'm going to try and get exact points. Got exact points. 100,000. There we go. To the teleporter. Let's escape. Very, very nice. You have escaped the maze. Whoa, what the hell? Wait, you could have just jumped the whole time and you would have been... Maybe I wouldn't have been. I don't have a clue. GG's. Map are completed. 1,353 kills in the end. 650 of those were headshots. That was pretty fast paced. That's a pretty cool map. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. GG's. Uh, but thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope all of you enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one, so definitely look out for it. And uh, take care and have a great night. Goodbye, everybody.